I realized as I was speaking, because I've watched so many of these, I was expecting the music to start playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, no. Hi, I'm Emily from Riveted by Simon Teen. We are here to play Would You Rather Bookish Resolutions Edition with author Chloe Gong. Hello, I'm Chloe. I'm the author of These Violent Delights, which is a Romeo and Juliet retelling set in 1920s Shanghai featuring two rival gang is who have to work together when a monster starts killing everyone in their city. Are you ready to play Would You Rather? I'm so ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Would you rather have to reorganize your bookshelves daily or not have organized bookshelves at all? That second one like hurt me a little and it would be kind of calming too because then you're like okay it's time for my daily bookshelf organization and then it's like meditation for the soul. Would you rather have to speed walk every time you read or only work out using books as weights? That's so funny. <laughs> oh my God. I Both seem really dangerous. Yeah, especially because like, I'm such a heavy YA fantasy reader and those are chunky, those are thick. Like I would get massive gains working out with them. I feel like then I would rather speed walk because that's like, it's a little less like rough on yourself if you're just like walking everywhere. Whereas like I might die if I had to lift all the white guys. <laughs> Would you rather buy books exclusively from used bookstores or read books exclusively from the library? Exclusively from the library. Cause I grew up doing that anyway. So like I'm used to it and I love like just browsing and then like giving it back. Like it just feels very like you know, what is that like deep saying? Like it's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. Aww. I'm like, wow, it just, I really appreciate books more when I have them and then I have to part with them. <laughs> it's about the yearning, like the longing glances between you and the books. <laughs> yes. Oh, love it. Would you rather resolve to not buy any new books this year or resolve to read a new book every day for a year? Wow. I would, I think I would resolve to read a new book because then you're always like, you've always got something new coming in. As long as I had the time for it, I could probably do it. It's just reading. Reading is so great, you know? <laughs> yes. Oh, can you imagine though trying to read like a 600 page book in one day? It would like literally, you would just have to stop eating and stop going to the toilet. You just have to sit <laughs> down and just yes. keep looking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I think I did that. I don't know how long City of Heavenly Fire is, but when it came out, when I was in high school, I literally, I went to the bookstore and I got home and I didn't move until I finished it. So like, it's, it's doable. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for this Would You Rather bookish resolutions. Before we go, can you ask one Would You Rather question that the fans have to answer in the comments? Would you rather have access to books in the past that have gone out of print, or would you rather have access to books in the future that haven't been written yet? Ooh, that's a good one. Good luck. <laughs>